Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to City Skylines. It's time to build more. Building more with Animalia. So you can see we've basically got our sort of so most of the beginning of our core of our city done. We've got a nice long strip of leisure down the center down here. We've got our commercial district. We've got a, a few abandoned buildings here and there. Um, I suspect. Yeah, not that bad workers. So these guys will fill in and sort themselves out later on. We've got our circle district. We've got the horror of the jellyfish. And we've got our industrial area over here. Now, this is notionally a mining area, but unfortunately, it's entirely out of ore. So it's importing at the moment. Now, I want to rebuild this and rejig it and basically put a dedicated system in and probably a dedicated line off the motorway and turn this into just um, a subset transport system for this bit so that this ring is just for serving the in and out of the city. Maybe leave it in later on, but I want to put a dedicated thing in. The other thing I want to do is put a dedicated railway station in and that requires us to level up now we're getting pretty close but i would much rather have these things and then put them at the heart of the donkey mine district and run out and probably what i also want to do is have a line that will come down here lead to the donkey mines and also bring a line in to a train station quite close to the bus station so that we've got a good solid transport hub for bringing commuters and tourists into our city now talking about tourists we need a tourist area so what we're going to spend our two and a half hour on we're going to leave the speed on slow is we are going to be building a tourist area all along this coastline best we can we do have a lot of poop water so we'll try and move it along here so the first thing we do need to do i'm afraid is move all of our power cables Because they are currently in the wrong place. Ah, getting significantly decreased amounts of power off them. Um, let's stick them over here for now. We can always just move them later. Okay, put seven, eight, eight. Yeah, that's fine. I will take a drop of one. You don't want to drop it too much below seven because then you really are not getting your value for money out of them. Okay. So that's that done. Can we? Well, that's all upstream, so we can't do anything about that. Let's just have a good look at things we could buy. See, that's still upstream. Now, when we get the dam, there's a temptation to dam that off and then dump the poo behind it. So, let's just see out of sea limits. So, that is the best place the furthest along we can go without, perhaps, buying that tile and dumping them on that side. We do have the option to buy some more tiles. Um, my last check, I think we've got the option to buy a few. But I think I'll worry about that later. I'm going to fill in the space I've got before I do it. No. Hmm. The donkey mines. Let's have a look at the area of the donkey mines. It's in this area. Where's the resources? They do kind of extend quite a bit. I mean, if we're looking at doing quite a large area, then going all the way across, basically just making that an area and then that a separate area. I am quite tempted to make that more of a high-end residential area amongst the trees there, but logging also appeals to me a fair bit. Mm, I think I'm going to spend some money on buying some extra tiles. So we're going to buy this one, but not a lot. And we're going to buy this one, not a lot. Okay, so we can't buy any more. But what we can do is, I'm just going to pause it briefly because these are going to hideously interrupt our water, our water supplies. Is I can grab you and put you all the way over. Which way is it flowing? It's going that way. That's going also going out. Just I can put you there. Now it's going to take a while for all the poopy water to flow away. 
but this will enable us to have a nice set of beachfront properties. A nice collection of pleasant places for you to actually live. Have that in there. Grab a power line. I don't know how much power do these guys actually need? Because I am kind of tempted just to grab a wind turbine or three. And just create a micro power grid over here. Yeah, that works. It's all connected. So you immediately see that the, the water recedes slightly here as the changes in the water level. As they're no longer dumping water out. And slowly but surely the pool will go away. So, we want to build a leisure district. So, let's start by thinking about leisure. Um, actually, now I've got lots of space. I could really also drag my water inlet from somewhere else as well and really clear this beachfront out into a much nicer location. So, let's prop that turbine over with compatriots over here start shunting these guys over. Actually, you know what? Rather than you watching me do this, I will come back. And then you can see the next of it in a bit. Okay, so I moved them all. Moved them all design. In fact, I tucked all these ones over as well. So this is going to be, I don't know, if we can find some way of getting fire over here, we can call it Elemental Island. So, or Elemental Peak or Elemental Headland. But that means we now have plenty of space down over here. So we also no longer need this power line tucked in on the bottom across here because it doesn't go anything There's nothing down here anymore so it's needed to need it not, not needed at all so let's start laying out a nice bit of roadway so let's grab our most expensive bit of road and put in a nice beachfront boulevard all along here let's just try to get up to about there and then we will relay our power lines. Pretty sure you can build on water. Okay. That's not helpful. Yes, I know. I um, I killed the power. I'm fixing it. Connected, yes. Yes. Good. Okay. Just in case I do something dumb like that again, I am going to save it. No, it just let it just let it tick along. So that's that bit done. So we've got our nice long strip boulevard that goes along there. Let's now think about how are we going to connect that up to our main strip. I want to try and avoid. Wow, all these cars and people. Trying to get into here. It's mostly supposed to be working okay. They're just turning and going and going and turning. It's just there's an awful lot of people moving into this area. So, how are we going to plug this in? Well, do, do, do. is there space we could certainly do with something up there later on? Uh, I'm thinking about putting a university in. Let's go. Yeah, what well, thing about okay, thinking, 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 thinking. Um, try and put the roads in first. 
Let's grab that. Rather than making that a full weight interchange. I don't really want to come off from too far away. Um, and I don't... I can stick it in there. So I could... The question is how much further out... Can I come... Off the end of this? Okay, so I can get so far or so. And then let's see if we can't get some kind of button of wrong. I hit the button of button of wrong, ladies and gentlemen. So woe is me. There we go. That's not too bad an arc, actually. So it comes around there and leaves all the way off there. What I am going to briefly do is just nudge. Turn it onto a straight road. Like that. So it does anyone decides they need to come down here to turn around, they can just turn around down here. They don't need to go all the way out to along the promenade and back again to be able to get what they need to do. You see, there's quite a yeah, it's quite a nice promenade road we've got along there. So what we want to do is start sticking in some of our leisure activities. So there we go. Decoration, leisure activities. So what is this? This is a fishing pier. So we'll just tuck in from this end, I suppose. Put a fishing pier in. Hmm, that's a fishing tours. Jet ski rental. Try to get as far up the beach as possible so it's not too far away. A marina. These are quite expensive buildings, is why I did make sure I had plenty of power. Double check on that, so they do need some kind of sub road access then apparently. Hmm. Okay, let's um take some of our boulevard out of it. Leave it up to there. And work out where it actually should be in terms of making sure that these guys feel like they are... Okay, so it needs to be that kind of closer. So let's grab our road. Let's take that out from there. Let's give me a curvy road. Let's do... Come on. Right, the easiest thing probably to do in this case is move you out the way slightly. And bring the road round. And then it's an absurd amount of stilting going on there, because the road right <laughs> is uh seems to elevate from a particular type of manner. So space already occupied, so you've got to be about there. Okay. So apparently that means I now have access these guys apparently have some kind of, you know, access. Do I have a I have the tree thing, I can put a bit of pavement in there just to make it look a little bit more sane I suppose um, cause we know these things are nice and all the rest of it but we do want to at least vaguely fit in it's a problem with the landscape mostly just being a bit uh, a bit weird Okay, fine. You go you go there and I will put pavement in as best I can. That's apparently a bridge. Do 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 do
go see a little bit. Let me get my pavement on. Get my pavement on. Let's see what I can do about putting you in a location where I think you're fitting. Okay. So I at least feel vaguely more rational about this absurd, lumpy kind of pavementy thing I've got going on. I feel like these are at least slightly more connected to my um, city. They're a bit bumpy in places, but yeah. Okay, so that's that been done. So we're looking at zoning this. So what other leisure buildings have we got? So beach volleyball. The slope. Yeah, the slope is too steep. So we are going to put a beach, a beach volleyball court opposite there. We also have our riding stable, which you can stick in over here. Skate park, we've probably already got somewhere else. I'm pretty happy with all this. Now, what we can also do is put in plaza with picnic tables inside. And what's the biggest park? Slope is too steep, apparently. It's just how flat an area does this park actually require? Let me stick it in there. Does it go in? I mean, it does go in all the way over here. So, what we will do is slowly but surely. I just noticed the uh, humongous dent. The the uh... <laughs> do you like riding stables? Do you like stables on ridiculous slopes? Do you like picnic tables on absurd slopes? Then we've got picnic tables on absurd slopes for you, because it turns out that this area leading to the shoreline is a bit steeper than city size likes to rationally deal with. But the other thing we can do is we can grab our low density commercial brush. Let's just do a. a paint, I think. And we can paint all of this with no density commercial. What I am probably also going to do is I'm going to grab tree-lined roads. I'm thinking about just putting spikes off this, going backwards away from Thing. But I like just like they do of leaving it like that until we get to the point where we desperately need a bit more space for this. But let's paint ourselves a district. Attach it to the road. There we go. Make sure we've got everything we want. So we'll uh, just nope. Go from here and double up. And we are going to call this, well, it's going to be animals. I mean, we're always thinking about lizard, 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 I think, but this will be turtle, dr, duel, tourist, beach. Uh, the turtle tourist trap, because I like the alliteration. And we will make this a tourism speciality commercial zone. The next thing we need to do is put a bus line in. Um, but, yep, yeah, I will do that in between episodes. So thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I've been the Marmoset. This has been City Skylines. We've built ourselves a tourist trap. We've spent all our money. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the bus line in, and then I'm going to let it run for a bit, and hopefully we're going to get to the next population point. And when that happens, we'll have a nice big water cast to go and rebuild the donkey mines and with a train station in it, and hopefully connect up our, our passenger service as well. So thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.